Remember that one time I told y'all about that? The Salvation Army chick with that stank attitude, you know what I'm saying? So, other day, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I was at the stove and she was still there, you know what I'm saying, ringing, ring, 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 ring the bell and what have you. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something, bring some holiday cheer to her funky ass, you know what I'm saying? So, I walked the bar and said, hey, how you doing? Merry Christmas. She was on her phone, she looked at me. So, I, I, I got a dollar bill out of my wallet, I put a dollar and said, Merry Christmas. The bitches stared at me. You can't say thank you. This she had the same, the same stank ass attitude, y'all. Uh, so one part of me said, like, look, get that goddamn dollar back and cuss her ass out. But I said, you know what? Holiday cheer, holiday cheer. You know what I'm saying? That dollar's gonna go to a good cause. That's somebody who needs it. You know what I'm saying? The hell her stank ass attitude. You know what I did? I prayed for her. I prayed for her. You know what I'm saying? Bitch. <laughs> Vibes out here, man. We have a good time. We're smoking cigars. We're doing it big out here, man. Y'all keep watching this show. Let's go. You already know. My homie Phil Brown right here, bud. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm Debo. Who? Debo. Why you tripping, Debo? Where well, y'all my 40, homie? What's up, guys? Boy, Debo Vibes right here. And thank you so much for coming by Debo Vibes channel. The channel for 1990s hip hop RB lifestyle. Foodies! Like you, me, and we. Can I tell y'all something, man? I said before. I'm going to say it again. Shrimping ain't easy, y'all. Shrimping ain't easy, but sure it's fun. Shrimping ain't easy? What? what, what are, you, are, you, are you doing it again, Debo? Yes, 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 I am. Yes, I am. So here's what happened, yo. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the holiday spirit and everything. And I said to myself, you know what? Let me hit Tack for short up right quick. You know what I'm saying? As y'all know, y'all should know by now, Tack for short, me and Tag, we did our first ever collab together. It was called Shrimp and A Easy. So I hit Tag up, right? It's a holiday season. Tis the season, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Holiday cheer. So I hit Tag up. I was like, Tag, Shrimp and A Easy. Of course I didn't do that, y'all. First of all, if I hit tag for short up, and like, or anybody for that matter, and they said, yo, shrimping ain't easy, they'd be like, nigga, you, you crazy, what the hell you talking about? That's whack, you know what I'm saying? So I hit tag up, I was like, yo, tag, man, I'm about to do a shrimping ain't easy, you know what I'm saying, part three, you down? You know what I mean? She was like, yeah, I'm down, you know what I'm saying? So this time, as part of holiday spirit, me and tag gonna bless y'all again with another shrimping ain't easy. Holiday edition where this one we're going to indulge in a bunch of shrimp as we always do But this time we're gonna let y'all know our favorite Christmas song or holiday song and our favorite Christmas movie or holiday movie Feel me? So let's get to the food first y'all. I went shrimp crazy on this one y'all You know what I'm saying? So I hooked up some shrimp scampi, you know what I'm saying with some spaghetti noodles Also got some beef sausage in there as well y'all and I also made some fried shrimp with some of the duck sauce on top of it, you know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm hungry, I'm starving, you know what I mean? The best of both worlds, y'all. We got pasta and shrimp, you know what I'm saying? So here, here's what I got for y'all right here. This is what your boy hooked up for y'all right here, you know what I'm saying? So without further delay, I'm gonna go ahead and dive right in because your boy hungry, man. You know what I'm talking about. So we're gonna dive in right here. And let me tell y'all something, man. I hope y'all have an exceptional holiday season. You know what I'm talking about? Let's get a piece of shrimp right here, y'all. Get, get on here. And here y'all go right there. You know what I'm saying? Shrimp scampi with spaghetti noodles. Cheers, y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I love, I love scampi sauce, y'all. Love me some good scampi sauce. The lemon, the lemon effect of it. The garlic butter. Can't be beat. But I pray y'all having a great, great holiday season though. Real talk, y'all. You know what I mean? And also I'm happy that y'all enjoyed my new series called Southside Foodie. I got a lot of good feedback from my new series called Southside Foodie. Where I'm basically gonna go, you know what I'm saying? The, the restaurants around Southside. Here y'all go. The shrimp right there. There you go, man. I'm going to basically restaurants on the south side of Atlanta, Georgia. Do a vlog, do a quick, you know what I'm saying, do a quick food review, all that. You know what I mean? And the response I had from the last one where I did 
the review at Greedy Man's Barbecue with some bomb ass barbecue, y'all. Y'all go need to go check it out. You know what I'm saying? I got a good response, yo. Well, very excited about it. Very excited. Now, before I tell y'all my favorite Christmas song and my favorite Christmas movie, I got a DoorDash Chronicle, y'all. I got a DoorDash Chronicle, y'all. As y'all know, I be doing DoorDash every now and then. And I be coming across some real strange encounters, you feel me? But here's the thing about it, though. I'm going to let y'all tell y'all right now. Mm-hmm. That lemon, garlic, butter, herb sauce with that noodles, yes. 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 If y'all do DoorDash, and if, if something happens, if anything happens, before y'all do a complaint, think about what y'all could have done to make things better. Case in point, I'm gonna say two, I'm gonna say two, 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 two instances. You know what I'm saying? That would really, really help out our DoorDasher. You know what I'm saying? To get your food to you expeditiously. Feel me? Because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. How the time a door dasher delivers your food late is because y'all put some dumbass instructions that make no sense. You know what I'm saying? I'll get right to it. All right. If you live in building eight, apartment 104, again, building eight, apartment 104, do not put on there that you live in apartment 8104. All right. Just saying. All right, here y'all go right here. Because that happened the other day. Lady puts on their apartment 8104. Hand it to me. I said, all right, I go in there. I'm driving around. There's no building 81. There's no nothing. There. She, there's no, I'm like, where the hell is apartment 8104? So I pull over. I hit her up. I said, ma'am, ma'am, where is apartment 8104 at? She said, what you mean? I said, what, what you mean what I mean? It says right here, delivered to apartment 8104. She said, nah, 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 that should be building eight, apartment 104. Now, mind you, she put the instructions delivered to apartment 8104. So me being me, I tell her, it's like, well, I'm just, I'm just you know, let you know that you put on the apartment 8104. This girl gonna tell so she talking about, oh, I thought she wanted to know it's building A, apartment 104. How the fuck would I know that? Stop! I can't! I can't! I, I just can't! I, I can't do it! Well, but we ain't dating. We ain't screwing. We ain't having sex. I never, I never been to your crib before. I have no idea where your crib is. I never been to your crib to, to drink, smoke, or none of that. How the hell should I know? So that's one thing. Help us out. Help us out. Here's another thing. When you ask for a DoorDash delivery, you understand? And it's nighttime, right? Leave your damn light on. Leave your damn light on. Because the Dasher app and the navigation is sending me to a house that has no light, the light's not on or none of that. I'm going to keep it moving. You know what I mean? Because my thing, this, this is my thing, y'all. Clearly, this can't be the house. Because they are expecting a delivery, typically, Normal people who have who have who have common sense they do light on if they're expecting the delivery. Man, a couple of people they had the, the light straight dead off. They had that light totally off. I'm like, I'm thinking myself, damn, they pay their power bill. What the hell is going on here? You know what I mean? And then they, they, and then they're talking about handing it to me. How am I gonna hand it to you when it's dark as hell outside? And then this one and then this one time the dude opens the door up, he leaves the damn light off. So I'm like, hold up, bro. You know what I'm talking about? I have no idea what's going on with this this transaction. You, your lights, your lights off. You know what I'm saying? There's barely any lights inside. He go open the door and tell him, I appreciate you, bro. Nigga, turn your light on. <laughs> I don't know. Y'all really could make it easier for us if y'all paid some attention to your instructions and helped us out. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Help us help y'all. That's all I'm getting at. You know what I'm saying? And just have some common sense. It's not that hard. Dumbass motherfuckers, man. <laughs> now! Now we have no not tonight's topic, y'all, but I'm gonna let y'all know my favorite Christmas song Devo. and my favorite Christmas movie. Let's get to the song first, y'all. A little unorthodox, you know what I'm saying? Uh, well, it's my favorite Christmas song nonetheless, y'all. And actually, the song was featured in my favorite Christmas movie. 
my favorite Christmas song of all time is Snoop Dogg, Corrupt, Nate Dogg, and Roscoe, Santa Claus coming to the ghetto. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now nah, the temptation sauce the temptations solid solid night a close second. My favorite all time Christmas song. Santa Claus coming to the ghetto. Straight to the ghetto. Man. Two for one. That song was actually featured in my favorite all time Christmas movie. My favorite all-time Christmas movie is Friday After Next. It's small in here. Now you big in here. I said it's right. That's right. Yeah, look, I, look, I understand. Look, y'all can have y'all's National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation and a Christmas Story, all that. I, I'm telling y'all why I know. Now, Friday After Next. I love Dang. that movie. Get your scary ass up, man. I know For you one, heard that shit. Uh, Greg and Day Day, they back in the hood. You know what I'm saying? They back in the hood where they should have been to begin with. You know what I mean? And, of course, the crackhead, the crackhead robber dude, played by Ricky Smiley, who played it masterfully. That he had me crack it up. Santa Claus up here grabbed me some wallets. Cigarette light and some car keys. Ricky Smiley breaks into their crib. Still two hundred dollars. So that so they two hundred dollars short. Um, you know what I'm saying? Of the rent. Now I'm thinking about hold up. What's up with this whole theme of two hundred dollars? Because I remember in Friday they need two hundred dollars, and Friday the next they need two hundred dollars for their rent. I don't know. It must be two hundred dollars thing. I don't know. But anyway, but the shenanigans and everything that happened in that movie. You know what I'm saying? And Friday after the next. Classic, y'all. Classic. You had, and the characters. The characters. You know what I'm saying? Cat Williams as Money Mike. Don't be sorry, ho, be careful. Lord, gee, what, you know what? I'm tired of your presence. Dismiss. Terry Crews in that bitch as uh, David. Oh, I'm a big shit. Craig and Data. Just the niggas I need to see. Fine. And of course, my favorite character all time in the Fridays in the Friday series, Pinky. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Jingle Bell. Pinky's nigga. Played by Clinton Powell. You know what I mean? And I know it's like I said, it's not a traditional Christmas movie, but it, it is, it, 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 it is breezy back to when I was in the hood. You know what I'm saying? When I lived in LA. Well, actually, Pomona, California. You know what I mean? And it looks like something that, you know what I'm saying, a hood nigga would do. Hood niggas would do. When you show your rent, you throw a party. You throw a rent party. You know, that's actually called rent parties. You know what I'm talking about? Oh. Uh, they do a rent party and everything. But, of course, at the end of the movie, you know what I'm talking about? Ricky Smiley, you know what I'm saying? He, get, he gets caught. He, he gets ran over, you know what I'm talking about? By Pinky's chauffeur and what have you. And, of course, the best thing about it, at the very end of the movie, Cube got his girl. You know what I mean? Cube got his girl. You got to love happy endings like that. And that's what, the, that's what, you know what I'm saying? That's what the Christmas spirit is all about. You know what I'm talking about? But one of the funniest, funniest, funniest movies I've seen. Definitely my, my favorite. Friday the next and Friday are close second, you know what I'm saying? First and first and second. Are close first and second. I couldn't stand next Friday. If next Friday was alright, you know what I mean? But yeah, but anyway though, that's my favorite holiday movie. And my favorite holiday song. Friday at the next. And Santa Claus coming straight to the ghetto. There y'all go, man. There y'all go. Say y'all. Say y'all, goddamn. You know what I mean? But anyway, I ain't gonna, I ain't y'all, I ain't gonna keep y'all, man. I ain't gonna keep y'all. I'm about to dip out. But tag for short. Appreciate you for doing another collab with your boy and everybody out there, man. Hope you are having an awesome, awesome Christmas. Do great things. You know what I mean? A great holiday season. And I love y'all, man. For, for sure, I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. 
know what I'm saying? Why am I sitting here with that some piece of shrimp in my hand? I should be eating it. Pause. <laughs> huh? well, well, that being said, y'all, we will vibe out soon. All right? All right. Hey, y'all, man. It's your boy Debo Vibes right here. And guess what? I see greatness in you. I used to be greatness in me. And I love y'all, man, from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. It's your boy. The one and only Debo Vibes right here, man. As always, y'all. Respect. Love. Peace. Deuces. Yeah. Debo. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Mitchell. Mitchell Debo. What's up, Debo?